It's time for another build. Today we are looking at something I did not realize will be this fun. The Great Axe. The Great Axe is an incredibly fun PvE, PvP build, and it's going to satisfy all your needs in the mist, dungeon clearing, and just open world group ganking, PvP, or anything of the sort. Why is it so good? Three main things. Mobility, damage, and CC. You can crowd control your enemies, you can catch up to your enemies, and you're going to deal a massive burst. The massive burst mostly comes from your stalker jacket alongside with your great axe. Now, if you want, you can swap out your stalker jacket to a hellion, but the stalker jacket is much cheaper. Now, let's start one by one why you want this build. One, it's relatively cheap for quite high impact. Two, you are going to be able to find all of these items across the board because they're very, very easily accessible and they're not some rare meta builds. However, they do produce an incredible result. And finally, number three, you are clearing dungeons and mists so fast, you will not even realize the amount of fame you're gathering and the amount of might, the amount of all amazing other things. Let's start with the Great Axe. What do you put on your Great Axe? The Great Axe is your, of course, amazing clearing weapon. It has the most amazing ability to use the Whirlwind. Whirlwind does a massive amount of damage in an AoE around you for 2.5 seconds, and this cannot be interrupted, and you can move while you're doing it. The more times you hit the same enemy, the more damage you do to that enemy. And you can actually cancel this any point in time meaning that you have 2.5 seconds and every 0.5 of seconds you're dealing upwards of 200 points of damage to everything around you so that's absolutely insane now what do you do to make this even stronger you take adrenaline boost adrenaline boost gives you more movement speed more attack speed and increases your damage by 25 percent for seven seconds allowing you to just charge into the enemy and then activate your whirlwind to support all of this, I also used Stalker's Jacket Lightning Field. The Electric Field does a lot of damage as well, and it just all stacks up. So you're building layers and layers of damage. Now, you're going to tell me yes, but that means that you have cooldowns, and cooldowns are difficult. So what will I do? This is where your boots come in. Your boots, you're going to use the Assassin's Boots where you get Refreshing Sprint. Refreshing Sprint increases your movement speed, allowing you to charge in and reduces your cooldown rate by 33% for 5 seconds, meaning that your abilities will be able to be cast much more often. Now, that raises the question, where will I get my energy? That is answered by Squirrel's Crow. Energy Shield gives you extra armor and magic resist, and as well as this, every time you take damage, you will restore an amount of energy. Now, I am running tier 6 uh, headpiece, tier 6 weapon, tier 5 boots, and tier 5 armor. You can run whatever you like. I found this to be the best cost for my money. The main thing is that if you are going to use the axe at tier 4 or 5, instead of tier 6, you're not going to be able to use r the Rending Rage. Rending Rage is your main crowd control and debuff ability. It puts bleed charges on the enemies, and this is what you're going to be spamming in between your cooldowns. This is going to do an insane amount of damage, and every third hit, you are able to leap and root your enemies for 2 seconds within 5 meter rages. Apart from this, each Rending Charge, uh, each stack, reduces the healing received by 12%, meaning that you can reduce the enemy's healing ability quite effectively. And this is why it is such a good PvP weapon, because you are able to s utterly slow down and catch up the enemies, as well as reducing their healing. Now, why do I run the Morgana Cape on this build? It increases your attack speed. So, you've done your burst, the enemies are still alive, and you need this little extra bit of a punch whenever you use your whirlwind your mark of the raven will activate and this gives you 50 percent extra attack speed your adrenaline boost will still be active meaning your hits 
will be still incredibly strong. So you want to maximize the amount of times you hit an enemy at any point in time. At this point, you can hit them almost twice per second, meaning that you're still dealing insane amounts of damage. The question you're going to ask now is where does your survivability comes from? Because everything you have is just a glass cannon. Because you're dealing so much damage, having a pork roast, or roast pork as it is written here, will give you that survivability. You will be taking a lot of damage, but you will be out healing almost anything. And unless you're ganked by number of people, or you're already very low health, you will survive most bursts. Of course, it needs to be the same level, uh, more or less. Now, understandably, you're going to meet some certain bosses that you're not going to be able to kill easily. And all you need to do for them is just keep a minor poison potion or a poison potion on you if you are that inclined and chuck these at the enemy. They will suffer so much when you do your burst just after you chuck one of those. And normally you can finish them off and kite them as much as you want. Now, I find this build incredible because apart from allowing you to go into battle quite quickly, ambushing enemies and just clearing out uh, mobs really fast, if you are ganked, you have high mobility. How do you use this mobility? You use this mobility with three different things. Number one, you use the refreshing sprint. Number two, you use the adrenaline boost. And finally, if you are still getting hit hard before everything activates, use the energy shield to give you that extra bit of survivability so then your mobility can kick off. I hope you find this useful. I found this to be an incredibly fun build. It's a bit off meta, meaning that the items are still relatively cheap. The headpiece, the boots and the jacket are quite cheap. The jacket can be get expensive with the higher tiers because it is stalker jacket and it's becoming meta as people are discovering its utility. But the axe is going to always be relatively cheap. Get those masteries up and you're going to be a force to be reckoned with, especially if you're duoing or being in a group of five people. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the battlefield, guys. Bye bye.